hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be talking about when should i write my usmle when should i start thinking about it when should i start i don't think any time is too early to start and i don't also think any time is too late to start really it depends on you anytime you wake up is your money all right you can write step in school you can write step when you graduate but i would say that if you're in first year maybe you can start thinking about it but i don't think you should encumber yourself overload yourself with hey i'm writing step i'm also not saying that oh it's wrong to have that in mind because that would influence the way you learn that will influence the kind of diligence that you give to your studies but the thing now is for those of us who um, are in med who attended or you are in a medical school that has the six-year curriculum you can only write step one after third year because there's a document that you need to sign that your school certifies that you are done with your basic sciences so if you're someone that you really want to take it immediately after third year that means you should have started preparing maybe from second year or from third year or it's totally fine too to prepare after your third year and then maybe write it in fourth year in fifth year i know people have written their step immediately after croc one of third year some people have written in fourth year some people have written in fifth year and all the way down 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 i wrote mine in i believe sixth year first semester right it's different for everyone but just bear in mind that you cannot write step one before third year okay so i said i wrote my step one in sixth year but the truth is that i started to study for step one sometime around third year i believe so for me what inspired me or how did i start and what happened between third year and sixth year why did i take three years obviously that these are things i'll address in another video or oh, looking back what should i have done differently so i said i think i actively started thinking about step maybe third year i believe it has always been in my horizon actually um when i was in first year second year for some reason i had seniors who would be like um you should know study hard you know start thinking of don't leave your planning till later so that you don't get confused confusion will still happen sure. but god day so don't leave it till later okay you can you can start thinking about this now you don't have to do anything about it but start thinking about it so i think that i must have heard it from one or two seniors and i remember one of our seniors she was graduating and then she said oh before i leave these materials let me give you guys these materials and those were step materials so that must have been my first exposure but it was passive and then in third year when i was preparing for croc i attended this tutorial and that was the year there was rumors of us doing iPhone. and iPhone is actually um, an exam that is a bit similar to USMLE because it is under the same exam body, right? MBME, that the ones in charge of USMLE, the ones in charge of iPhone. So the tutorial I was attending at the time, the guy always incorporated USMLE stuff. So when he's teaching, he will say, if this were to be step, this and that. So I took some notes at the time, and then i think that was when like the fire i think i think that was when the fire started i believe and then also i had a friend shout out to you deji we lived in the same hostel together and he was um preparing at the time studying with um step materials so i think that after third year i had someone he was a senior yes <laughs> he might never see this but shout out to you marwan during the summer after croc he gifted me a first aid for the usmle and i think that was when it really started then i started to like study a bit fourth year started and obviously fourth year was hmm, fourth year is like first day in a sense why do i say that because the first day you're still learning how this medical school thing works what are, how am i supposed to be reading how do you guys read and then you kind of get a hang of it because there are books and stuff but fourth year happens and suddenly you have transitioned and for today, they don't have so many books. Like, they're not like a lot of books you have to buy. You have to find resources for yourself. You have to, you know, go online, watch more videos, do a lot of things. That was the time I got introduced to Bots and Beyond. Bots and Beyond is a video resource. They have QBanks as well. The doctor teaches about STEP. So I remember I used him for uh, my internal medicine classes, during the gastroenterology modules, the endocrine modules, hematology modules. So all of these were like patches and patches of preps, but I did not synchronize them right so i know that yes i was exposed to the material some of the classes i had i know that oh i studied with usmle materials i wasn't actually like reading so much like for it but i was doing it 
I was using their materials to also study for my classes some of the time. And then also I remember one year I joined this um, Facebook group. It was a ASMLE school and then we were going through, they would post materials, you have to go through them. I started as well and I don't think I lasted more than two months but that also helped because I covered biochem, ASMLE content of biochem and you know I did biochem since two years, like at that time I had done biochem two years prior but at least I revisited it. And then after a while, I think I slacked and I got off. <laughs> and then I think the defining year for me must have been that year that COVID happened. Of course, at first when COVID happened, lockdown happened, school went online for about three weeks and everybody entered vacation mode. We were just catching crew, sleeping. And I remember that period. And we were just trying to, I mean, that was also like a, an uncertain time in our lives, trying to figure out what was going on. And then when I saw that, oh, school had, transition to online and was still transitioning actually because at the time I had more time on my hands so I said you know what I can actually do this um, USMLE thing like I can actually cover my first aid this year so little by little I started to cover first aid and I think that was the year I actually finished but because if you are doing step I feel like you always have to have a timeline you should always tell yourself this is when I'm doing it and you have to like maybe if you've read to an extent maybe you can take the risk of pain I will address that also in a future video but you also you have to be serious about when you're going to do it so for me I think I wasn't very certain I just knew I was going to write step but when and eh, next semester and eh, next semester and that was what happened and then <laughs> COVID that COVID year went and then 2021 happened and then that was 50 at the time I um I, I think, yeah, the next year I went to Nigeria and then I came back. I spent maybe almost two months in Nigeria and that period I didn't study. And then I remember I came back to Ukraine and then a friend said, oh, step one is transitioning to pass or fail at the end of this year, like beginning of next year, end of this year. And at that time it was just nine months to the transition and I knew I wanted to um, try to um, write my step before pass or fail happened. So I think that was the ginger I needed and then I bought my um, I bought my Q bank, and then I started to study actively, 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 actively. And then I think, of course, school school was still going on, so I was studying, and I was studying for classes, trying to also pass my classes and get good grades and learn the material because both of them feed each other. You learn the material, it helps you for step. You learn step material, it helps you for school. You have to carry both of them together, right? I so did not want to fill my classes. And then I think nine months after that, it will be in December of 2021, I finally took the step. So that's like a quick summary of my story, how step one happened for me. Now, if you are still in your preclinical years or you are, st you are in your clinical years, but you are not ready, maybe because of financial reasons or because you don't see yourself taking it anytime soon, but you know that oh, somewhere is in the future for you, and now your question is, oh, what can I be doing right now before the time comes for me to take my step? Or I'm about graduating, or I'm going to graduate soon. What should I be doing in medical school before I graduate that will help me on my step journey? That's what I'm going to be addressing in my next video. So if you are interested in this topic, you should definitely look out for it in the next video. Bye.